Hi, welcome to ShowMeTheCurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to be dealing with uh, jackfruit, also known as kathal in uh, Hindi. And we're going to be making uh, jackfruit or kathal pilau out of it. So the jackfruit is fried and we used one can, uh, which is about uh, 250 grams or so. Right. So we have a um, non-stick pan here and we have two tablespoons of oil heating in it and it's already hot so we can go ahead and start. Mm -hmm. We're going to add half a teaspoon of black jeera or shahi jeera. One bay leaf, one piece of cinnamon, one black cardamom, two green cardamoms and we have two cloves here. Um, an important thing to do uh, to remember when you put cloves in oil is to kind of break off the bulb that's at the top because it pops at you if you don't. <laughs> so just a little safety tip. <laughs> it's still dead. <laughs> and it still pops. <laughs> Give it a mix. We can add in half of a sliced onion. So add in a little bit of salt just to speed up the process. And we'll mix it well and let this cook until the uh, onions caramelize just a bit. Here, onions look fabulous. They're nice mm -hmm. and caramelized. Mm -hmm. To this, we're going to add some green chilies. We've kept them whole so we can pull them out. But you can chop them up and put as much as you like. And we're going to add some uh, ginger garlic paste, two tablespoons. And we'll cook this for just one or two minutes. And to this, we're going to add one sliced tomato. And half a cup of carrots and peas and the fried jackfruit. And once it's mixed in, we can add in our spices. One teaspoon garam masala or to taste. Half teaspoon of pepper. Half teaspoon cumin powder. One teaspoon coriander powder. Salt to taste. Red chili powder to taste and mix well. And to this we're going to add a handful of cilantro leaves and mint. And I'm going to turn down the stove to a low right now. And to this we're going to add a half a cup of yogurt. Such a pretty color. And once the yogurt is mixed in really well, it's time to add our rice. Mm -hmm. We have uh, one and a half cups of basmati rice here. You can use any you like, but traditionally for uh, palaos and biryanis, they do use uh, basmati rice. Allowed it to soak for about 30 minutes and we've drained it out and we're going to add it in here. And before we add any additional water, I'm just going to saute this rice in this mixture just for a minute or so. And I'm switching the flame back on to a medium. And to this we're going to add two and a half cups of water. And you can mix this and actually taste a little bit of the liquid and mm -hmm. see if the salt is okay for you or if you need to add a little more chili powder or however you need to adjust it, you can do it at this point. And we're going to mix this and we're going to allow this mixture to come to a boil, uncovered. So we did a taste test, everything looks perfect. In fact, the water needs to be a little more on the salty side because the rice is going to absorb it, so. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now this is just coming to boil, you can see. At this point, we're gonna put our stove on an absolute simmer and we're gonna cover this and allow it to cook for 15 minutes. And there's no need to peek, there's no need to stir. Just set your timer and it'll be good. <laughs> So our timer just went off and it has been 15 minutes. So I'm going to switch this off. We didn't cheat. <laughs> and we're going to take a look. Whoa. Beautiful. And we can take just a fork and fluff it up. Gently. And it's perfectly cooked. Mm. Looks so pretty. Yes, yeah, so the grains, every grain of rice is separate. You don't want it in mush. And I'm sure it's very flavorful. Look at that. Beautiful. The last thing you're going to do is put some ghee on top, just a little bit, just to give it that extra authentic, tasty flavor. 
Oomph. Oomph. <laughs> yes, that little kick you need. <laughs> Kicks are very important. And we're going to cover this and just let it rest for a couple of minutes and let all the flavors just come together and it'll be ready to serve. Excellent. Lunch time. Let's <laughs> dig in. <laughs> oh, wow. It's yummy. You can serve it with some uh, raita or mm -hmm. some pickle or some onions on the side. It's perfect. I'm going to get a piece of this. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. The rice is so flavorful. Mm -hmm. And um, since you cook the, the cutlet or the jackfruit in the water, the flavors are just absorbed all the way in. It's such a great texture too. Mm. Fabulous. Something different, you know, to change from your usual vegetables that we're yeah. used to having all the time. Absolutely. No cauliflower and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Something out of the box. <laughs> right. So enjoy your jackfruit pilau or your kathal pilau and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>